um, screen recording to save some time. I'm re I just recorded a video and it, it, the situation escalated. I'm waiting at this place. It's an 18 and change payout for Grubhub. It's the place I'm picking up at is in Seaford and I was driving it to Seaford. So I'm willing to wait. This place has been slammed before. Now, when I first walked in, there was, I'm not over exaggerating, at least 15 people, whether it be people came in and placed an order on the tablet. They have a big TV screen. People placed order on the app directly to the restaurant. Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub. And there's a bar next door. There were people going in and out waiting for their food. When I first got there, I'm going to talk about delivered in a moment. I'm going to show you something because that's happened to me before. So I was outside walking around. I said, sir, not a problem. I, I've been in your shoes, not a problem. Get outside. I give them at least 20 minutes. I watch what's going on. People are leaving. And then the people that left weren't really angry. She was like, you know, a couple. I didn't, you know, we didn't get our food. It's not worth the wait. They were there when I got there. Okay. Then I witnessed, you know, the app people, they act like they can't believe it. Meanwhile, you would never be in their shoes. We have a very stress-free job. Food delivery people. With the Uber Eats, the Grubhub, the DoorDash. We're not behind the line. I've been in their shoes, struggling, trying to bang out as much product as possible. It's a horrible situation to be in when you get backed up. Fast forward, 25 minutes. Grubhub calls me. Customer would like to know how much longer. I said, if you hold on a moment, I was just about to go back in. They're very slammed. They're extremely backed up, ma'am. I get in the restaurant. I said, hold on. She said, not a problem. She heard me talking to the people at the counter. They're like, can you please give us a moment? We know who you are. Not a problem. They knew I wasn't complaining. So then the lady on the phone said, Michelle, you know what? I'll tell the customer they're working on the order and you're willing to wait. It was almost a $20 payout. Not a problem. So I finished the phone call. I walk back outside for a moment. The guy goes, they're, they're, putting in the, they're putting your order in the tins now. Okay. Thank you, sir. So I go back outside for a moment. I go back outside. Order canceled. I gave at least 30 minutes of my time waiting. Very understanding because I feel why make a situation worse when it don't have to be worse? And I don't want to treat people. I don't want to make their day worse, you know, because they're in a really bad position. But you're demanding, you know, quality goods. So <laughs> I'm just being sympathetic because I'm not miserable with my life. I would never do that to someone. And it's because of my life experience and I've been in their shoes. So I tell the guy after he he was like, just give me a moment. They're wrapping it up. So I wait and he goes, OK, just one more moment. And I said, I'm really sorry. And he heard me on the phone with the Grubhub person. I'm really sorry. They canceled. He goes, you want the food? Fresh quality food. Sauces on the side. Between what I bought the other day and this, I should be good till Monday. I'll eat this tomorrow. That's the kind of stuff that happens. I just couldn't bitch. You know, I didn't want to bitch because I can't stand serving people who just don't get it because either they forgot what it felt like or they're just miserable and they want to make your day worse. Ugh. And look, I, something good happened. He was like, we're not going to do anything with it. Now, before I show you delivered, people, there's a lot of people in there waiting. And he said, guys, all DoorDash and all Uber Eats orders canceled. Now, the drivers actually said, well, did you call the customer? He was like, do you think I called the customer? You, you just have a bunch of people staring over a counter. Meanwhile, you, you gotta, something happened in their kitchen. 
and there was a lot of smoke. Something happened. So I want to share that. Here we go. Now I'm going to speak about delivered. This has happened to me before, and I'm really happy I said no to the second two orders because they canceled the first order when I took the two cheap orders afterwards one other time, and it was mean. And I followed through, but I'm happy I said no this time because it just seemed like it was going to happen again, in my opinion. Somebody has control on the other side. You know what I mean? They always do. Yesterday, I received this order. Sent an order to the Guap Shop Mexican Grill. I think it was, it was the one in Garden City. And the projected earning was 66.37. I accepted it. 11.30 a.m. I believe it was the one in Garden City. I'm not 100% sure. About 10 minutes later, they sent me another order. Avo Taco, 12 o'clock. $20. I say no because it's too close in time. There's no way I can do that. Pick up a food at 1130 and deliver and then think I'm going to be at the next pickup at 12 o'clock. That wasn't happening. Then they send me another order. Again, the guac shop, but a different one at 1245, $20 payout. I said no because it wasn't worth it. Then they send me this right after. We removed that order was canceled. The 6637 payout was canceled. And that has happened to me before. I guess I no, I guess they're just trying to get by. That has happened to me before. And I'm sorry, I thought I was in their parking spot. I'm really happy I declined because it was just too much. It was too much time. You know what I mean? Too much time. Um, too many miles for too little money. Where? Move in a moment. Where? Then they canceled the first one, and I had two cheap ones. Okay. You got the gist. I told you the story. I just feel I'm in a bad area right here, even though I went way out of my way to move out of the way of all the chaos from that restaurant. Crazy. That's the kind of stuff that happens sometimes. What a waste of a night. I was going to stay home today. I should have. Just to, I would rather be paid than get the food. But that was very, very nice of them. And I have good quality eats for tomorrow. I'll see you later, bye. I'll see you later, guys. Bye for now.